Well, the search for Brian Laundry resumed in a Florida nature preserve this morning. Today, the coroner confirmed that the body found in a remote area of Grand Teton National Park is his fiance, Gabby Petito, with the initial determination that the manner of death is homicide. Authorities resumed their search for Brian Laundry Tuesday using dogs and all terrain vehicles to canvas a Florida nature preserve. Terrain's very difficult. Um, essentially, 75% of it's underwater, um, and other areas uh, that are dry we're trying to clear. Laundry hasn't been seen since last week and is wanted for questioning in the death of his fiance, 22 year old Gabby Petito. A body believed to be Petito's was found at a Wyoming National Park over the weekend. The pair had been on a cross-country road trip. I'd like to report a domestic dispute of Florida license plate, white land. This 911 call made on August 12th detailed an altercation between the two. Uh, we drove by and the gentleman was slapping the girl. He was slapping her? Yes, and then we stopped. They ran up and down the sidewalk. He proceeded to hit her, hopped in the car, and they drove off. Police body cam video shows the immediate aftermath of that call. We have been fighting all morning and, and he wouldn't let me in the car before. And then Why wouldn't he let you in the car? Because he, he, he told me I needed to calm down. No charges were filed and the next day the couple continued their trip to Wyoming. Authorities are not commenting on the evidence seized Monday from the Laundry family home in Northport, Florida. Community members are adding to a growing memorial for Petito. I just can't imagine having a child and losing a child, and here she is on a venture of a dream. It had to be a dream. Everybody just wants answers. Answers they might not get as long as laundry is missing. Jerika Duncan, CBS News, Northport, Florida.